ICT Cabinet Secretary Eli Dowalo has said that the ministry, through stakeholder alliance and partnerships, has managed to secure a donation of 23,000 digital devices for deployment purposes of digital skills with the aim of having Kenyans acquire optimal levels of ICT skills and also empower the youth for the job market. Here is Joy Gatwiri with more details. Speaking at a media breakfast meeting to give a progress on ministry's achievements, CS Owalo said that he spearheaded a comprehensive digital literacy program through partnerships targeting universities, Tibet institutions, primary schools, and rural communities. Again, as a minister, he said the program has empowered citizens with essential digital skills, bridging the digital divide and enabling them to participate in the digital economy. Stakeholder alliances and partnerships, ladies and gentlemen, to secure a donation of 23,000 digital devices for deployment for purposes of digital skilling. And our intention in this regard, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is to utilize these devices to have a critical mass of Kenyans um, acquire <coughs> optimal levels of ICT skills and also empower our youth for jobs. This as the ICT ministry has managed to create 109 digital jobs, further training 336 youths on digital jobs through the Ajira and Jetume programs. 21 schools. The ministry has also deployed 6,700 devices in 77 Tibet institutions, 400 devices in four universities, 21 schools received, 100 virtual desktops. Currently, we have managed to train a total of 336,000 youth on digital jobs, courtesy of the Ajira program and the Jitume program. In the same vein, we are at advanced stage of operationalization of KAIST, the Kenya Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, which is going to be a special purpose vehicle for purposes of digital skilling, ladies and gentlemen. A total of 6,700 devices in 77 digits. Four universities, which have received 400 units each. 21 schools, which have received 100 virtual desktops each. And we have been doing this up to and including yesterday, but one. Safaricom CEO Peter Ndegwa has said their primary objective is to deliver connectivity through mobile, adding that there are 6,500 sites which are 4G enabled across the country. Our primary objective is to deliver connectivity, both mobile uh, and fixed, uh, whether that is at home, in the offices. Uh, we, we have uh, just over 6,500 sites across the country all of which are 4G enabled. Three years ago, we had only 50% 4G coverage in the country. Now, most of those sites are actually 4G enabled. It means that connectivity from an internet perspective uh, is at least smart, uh, at smart level. Reporting for Hope TV Newswatch, I am Joy Gatwiri.